Chapter Number One: Socio-Religious Reforms. Introduction. People of the 19th century were orthodox. During those days, many evil practices prevailed in our country. Among them, dood piti or female infanticide, dowry system, sati system, ban on widow remarriage, child marriage, etc., were the most prevalent. In addition, orthodoxy or blind faith, superstition, caste system, etc., were also seen in the society. It was highly needed to eradicate all these evils from the society. Many of the torch bearers and reformation organizations had played a vital role. Among them, Raja Ram Mohan Roy was the foremost one. Activity: Students will list out the rituals held in the important incidents, such as births, deaths. and marriages happening in their family with the help of their elders Raja Ram Mohan Roy 1772 to 1833 Friend Raja Ram Mohan Roy is regarded as a father of modern Indian reformation or renaissance He was born in 1772 in a Brahmin family in Radhanagar village in the Hooghly district in Bengal he was married in his childhood his elder brother died accidentally and his sister-in-law had to forcibly become a sati due to this incident he was deeply influenced he pledged to remove evils such as sati system child marriages female infanticide polygamy prevailing in the society He learned Sanskrit literature in Varanasi and Persian and Arabian at Patna. In addition, he was a scholar of English, Greek and Hebrew languages. He also wrote books in Bengali, Hindi, Persian, English and other languages. In 1821, he started periodicals named Samvad Kaumudi in Bengali and then in 1822 another one named Mirat ul Akbar in Persian He founded the Aatmiya Sabha in 1822 British India Unitarian Association in 1827 and Brahmo Samaj in 1828 The title of raja was conferred upon him by Mughal Nawab of Delhi. He established the Hindu College in Kolkata. He suggested the British government to grant Indians individual freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of press, women's rights, and to keep the judiciary and executive separate. With his efforts, William Bentinck framed a law of prohibiting sati system. in the year 1829 the emperor of delhi sent raja ram mohan roy to england in 1830 in regard to his case of right to property there he died at bristol in 1833 like this raja ram mohan roy is considered as the indian reformist brahmo samaj played a vital role in the indian transition It was also responsible in changing the rigid and orthodox thinking of Hindu religion. Time to think. Imagine if you see any incidents of any old evil practices still existing in your village or city. What would you do then? What would you talk about over there? If we notice blind faith or evil practice still existing in the society it is necessary to make them aware of the fact in the world of science and technology these kinds of thinking should be eradicated from the society because of such wrong beliefs we could come under many big problems such evils prevailed in past 
because people were not aware and educated. But in modern times, people should be aware and stay away from all such false beliefs. Dayanand Saraswati Swami Dayanand was born in Tankara near Morbi in Saurashtra, Gujarat in a conservative Brahmin family. He understood the uselessness of idol worship and rituals in his childhood. During 15 years of his traveling in the country, he learned yoga. He became a sannyasi or hermit and learned Hindu scriptures under Swami Virjanand of Mathura. With the help of Vedas, he was enlightened by the religion and culture of India and propagated the message to go back to Vedas to the people. He even composed the book named Satyarth Prakash. He insisted that there was no mention of any kind of idol worship, orthodox rituals, child marriages, sati system and untouchability in Vedas. He wanted to bring unity in the country through a classless system considering the religious, social and national factors. He was the propagator of monotheism. He delivered his speech in Hindi, hence his thoughts reached to most of the people. He founded the Arya Samaj in Mumbai in 1857. The Arya Samaj spread rapidly in Punjab, Rajasthan, Lahore, Uttar Pradesh and Gujarat. The Arya Samaj initiated Shuddhi Karan, that is reconverting movement for those who needed or were forced to change their religion, especially from Hindu to Christianity or Islam. After the death of Swami Dayanand Saraswati, the activities of the Arya Samaj were carried on by the leaders like Lala Hansraj, Lala Lajpatrai, Swami Shraddhanand and Pandit Guru Datta. Lala Hansraj founded Dayanand Anglo-Vedic College at Lahore in 1889 and Swami Shraddhanand founded Kangli Gurukul at Hardwar in 1902. In addition, he founded Arya Kanya Vidyalay in Gujarat where girls are taught discipline, hard-working, self-control and good character. Activity Students will list out the names of the people or local organizations which are active in social welfare. 